You guys, hello, welcome back to the channel. Today, before we start the video, we wanna give away a bottle of our Sixer sauce. Last week, we had people like the video, subscribe to the channel, and send a screen grab of that to at number six with cheese on Instagram. We're gonna pick that winner now. You can do that right now, and next week, we'll pick a winner from this video. So here we go. Up, down, up, bam. We got Mr. Dearth. We got a like, subscribed, <laughs> and sent a screen grab. Mr. Dearth, Mr. Dearth, you are the winner here today. Congratulations. Don't forget to do that exact thing if you want to be entered. We appreciate you guys. Time to start the show. We're going to DM you. You just won. You guys, it's been nine long trying years since the KFC Double Down has been on the menu and it's back for a month. And here at Number Six with Cheese, that's Corey Amshaw, and we're going to review it. Uh, I've never had it. Have you had it? Yes. Oh, okay. So I this told is you that's the only time I've ever gone out to get an item. Ooh, okay. I forgot about commercials. Ooh, from you, commercials. They man. got you with the commercial. Yeah. And they, well, they didn't and, get me. Okay, well, first it converted off, to a sale. I got them. I got to eat the double down. I won in that thing. No one tricked me, okay? I saw the thing, I wanted it. I don't get gotten. I'm Corey Wagner. You can't get me. If someone was listening, it's got two of everything two pieces of cheese, two pieces of bacon, and two pieces of chicken. So long, bun. Mm hmm. Now, this is a chicken sandwich. The new KFC Double Down Chicken Sandwich. So much 100% premium chicken, we didn't have room for a bite. I stand corrected. <laughs> I don't forget who I'm dealing with sometimes. And today, a Patreon shout out to the legend, Stephen O'Daniel. <laughs> 10 bucks a month on Patreon. Thank you so much, Stephen. Be like him. Patreon.com forward slash number six with cheese. Rem reminder too that our Patreon, guys, there's a tier on there. You can get any of our old shirts. People are, always, not always, but people are asking sometimes, yeah. hey, I love that old design. Design, can I get it like this right now? I got yeah, the pocket. Absolutely. Can sure. I get it? And before we've said no. <laughs> And uh, now for this one, we still say no because they don't have this available. But all, but all the other ones, ones. <laughs> except one, I'd say 96% of them. Yeah, yeah. So you can check that out too. A bunch of great old designs that you're seeing on screen now. But let's get to why you're here. The double down. You got to say it like that. Today I had a double down. Let's go. Hello, would you like to try our... Hello, go ahead. I'm sorry, what was that? Hello, go ahead. Oh, can I get two of the spicy double downs, please? Okay. And that's it. Thank you, put on. Alrighty. Thank you. She's not happy. <laughs> Taco Bell KFC hybrid. There is heaven on earth. You guys have the receipt in here by chance? Oh, sick, thank you. All right, an $18 Taco Bell bag of KFC Double Downs acquired. Jump cut. All right, Sixers on the dashboard. Corey Wagner, second angle. All right, we got the little KFC baggie. Let's open it up. Okay. Boom. There we go. Double down. These seem way thicker than they were originally. They actually are, and they're way more calories. Way big chicken. Very cold, unmelted cheese. Bacon. And then there's the sauce on there. Ugh. These don't look like the spicy ones, but well, maybe the sauce is. What it's just the sauce, spicy. yeah. Okay. It's either mayonnaise or then the spicy sauce. Our bacon's pretty weak. That cheese is cold, cold. It looks like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This baby's uh, 950 calories. Sexy mom, sexy mom. It's a lot. Which I is think, still less. Actually, I don't know. Is that a lot? It's a lot, but it's still less than a bacon cheeseburger from Five Guys. Yeah. What's a Big Mac? I got. What's my reference? Oh, so this is a lot. A lot more than a wow. Big Mac, okay. yeah. Do they smash these patties down, you think? It looks like, kind of looks like they're more, like flatter than it would be if yeah, it, it was served flat, to you. Yeah, it does flat, doesn't it? Yeah. I don't know if that's true, but. Looks it, that's for sure. And then bam, on the big camera, there's mine. Also, cold cheese. It's definitely flatter than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be like a big bulbous motherfucker. <laughs> All right, the KFC Double Down, nine bucks each here in Chicago, KFC, cheers. cheers. Look, this is impossible to bite. Yeah, that's not. I had like a an end that was a little easier. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, I already like the the smaller version better. So the chicken's good. Mm -hmm. Like, I love KFC chicken. The sauce is good. From an actual standpoint of like eating this, I just don't need like bacon and cheese with this. Like it's a, you know what I mean? It was launched in 2010 around an April Fool's campaign. Their whole thing was like, you don't eat too big, you don't even need bread. Like I get it. And then when they took it off the menu in 2014, people were mad. 
and have been clamoring for it for a decade. Mm -hmm. They test marketed this in Omaha, Nebraska, in Providence, Rhode Island. They sold 10 million of these in their first go with it. That's crazy. The original one had 60% of the daily recommended salt. This one is over 100 of your day's worth of salt. Yeah, sounds about right. Man, yeah. this cold cheese. <laughs> does not improve this experience. No, it makes it much worse. It was pretty horrible to me. From a like just a ridiculous angle, cool. Mm -hmm. But like actually getting this is it's kind of dumb. The, because yeah. like from even a price perspective, I don't want bacon and cheese from KFC. I think if you got four pieces of chicken, I mean it's way more food and way less than 10 bucks. This is like just totally screws you over price-wise. Yeah, the other one was at least manageable and edible. It was small, it fit in your hand, you could take bites. They, both these cheese breasts are so big, I have to like, I'm not getting the full experience. The idea was you had chicken, bacon and cheese, and then chicken, and I could get that all in one bite. Okay. This, I'm biting a, the bottom chicken breast, yeah. and then I'm biting the top, and then maybe it's small enough for me to yeah. eat. It just, this is a bad experience. I and mean, the cold cheese doesn't help. The sauce is pretty good, I guess. Mm -hmm. I'd imagine that's the same sauce they used on their sandwich. Yeah, I'd imagine. Man, this cheese is freezing cold. It, it's just so unmelted. Yeah, that sucks. It's like their chicken is just so good by itself. This like yeah, it just would have gotten the chicken. Yeah, I just want a couple of these breasts. Like, but it was way more fun the first go around. It kind of seems like on a lot of these nostalgic things that they bring back that we've been seeing across the fast food world. The new one they bring back is never like the original. Cause that just okay. happened with a few different things. I don't mind it being different. I think that should be an expectation. Yeah. But this is unedible. That's my big thing. And I know that they have made an edible version. Yeah, it's just, yeah. It's Some, poorly put yeah. together. They made it bigger for, it, America, bigger was not better in yeah. this case. Yeah. Well, should we do some uh, super thanks? Let's do it. See ya crumbs. Super thanks shout outs to these people when you donate. You get a shout out. Jim McFarlane, Derek Boudreaux, Jim McFarlane, Sam Bliss, David Black, Derek Boudreaux, Wonder Media, Rice Powell, Darcy Deming, Jim McFarlane, and Derek Boudreaux. Click that thanks button and supported the show. Thank you guys. We appreciate you. All right, before we go ahead and rate these babies on the whiteboards, let's break it down one last time. Take it away, Corey. Yeah, so I mean, that cheese was clearly, I mean, it was cold. It's not that it just was unmelted room temperature cheese. It was freaking cold cold, which is a big turn off for me when I'm eating it. Uh, and then the chicken breasts were just too big. Chicken was great, the bacon was weak, but the, yeah, not being able to actually like open my mouth and take mm -hmm. a bite out of it is not a good experience for me with that. So yeah, that is what it is. So for this version of being almost 10 bucks after tax and then um, being like almost impossible to eat and then I just don't fully get it, like the gigantic breast and then a little bit of bacon and unmelted cheese, like it was just a bad experience. Yeah. And I'm, if I had only that, like I'd be wanting more food, not more food because it is a lot of food, but just like eating breast and a little bit of bacon. It's just not like a fun eating. Yeah. It's not, it's not a good lunch. Yeah. Yep. I just feel like unsatiated. Yep. 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 All right, Alex, you're back. Crank that, crank that soldier boy. Man, out of nine and bucks basically. I mean, I really didn't like it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm cool with this. I'm going pretty low. Me too. I would never get that again. All right, cut off the music. Corey, are you ready on the count of three? I sure am. Reveal your score. All right. One, two, three. Bang! Yeah, I wouldn't even know you. You did. One, three, and a one. All right, a 1.15 is our median score today. All right, well, if you're waiting for our review to opt in or opt out, opt out. Um, and we'll uh, we'll see you guys very soon for another episode. We appreciate you being here. Uh, the new Eat Local shirts are on the website. We have plenty of fun perks on Patreon, so thank you to everybody. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, new videos five days a week. Today to comment with you guys, what is your go-to KFC order? And let's say you don't go to KFC, what's just your fried chicken spot order? Let us know in the comments. We'll comment ours, and we'll see you very soon for a new video. We appreciate you guys. Goodbye. Double don't.